Hello, boxing world, and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Bout Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section, and I promise to honor your request. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell notification. The fight that I'll be bringing to you in this video comes by way of request, and this is coming from Death From Above. <laughs> I thank you for your request, and I thank you for participating in the channel. Um, the fight that they mentioned is Floyd Money Mayweather versus Paul the Punisher Williams um, at welterweight, of course. And um, this would have been a very interesting one. Um, now, we heard rumors of or accusations of Floyd ducking Paul Williams. Um, I honestly don't see why he would duck him. However, Paul Williams was a highly avoided fighter. Um, he's what you would consider high risk, low reward. In the same category of fighters such as Winky Wright, Vernon Forrest, supposedly Demetrius Andre, you get the point. But as far as how this fight would play out, um, let's talk about Paul the Punisher Williams for a second. Tall, lanky fighter. I mean, it's hard to believe that this guy actually made welterweight. So um, he definitely had an advantage there um, with his size, with his reach, with his awkwardness. Um, but unfortunately, um, he gave up his size and his reach when he opted to brawl. And I always feel that tall fighters, long fighters um, should take every, should take advantage of every inch. But um, nevertheless, he had heart. He loved to trade. He loved to put it on the line. It seems like something that he enjoyed doing. Um, I don't think he had the chin for it. And I think that you need to have a chin if you're going to be a blood and guts brawler. But that's just my opinion for what it's worth. So, um, Paul does po or did pose a risk to anybody he fought. Um, now, we know that Floyd can adjust to just about anything. I've seen him adjust to everything, so I don't see any reason why Floyd wouldn't be able to, to adjust to anything Paul Williams was bringing that night. Um, it may take him a little longer, but um, I believe that he would. So um, as far as Floyd Money Mayweather, I will give this fight to him because of one reason, his speed and his timing. And as we all know, speed and timing kills volume punching almost every time he would know just how to time him he would know just when to shoot his right when to shoot his straight right hand shot you know while paul is coming with with his flurries and so um yeah yeah so is so as big as paul williams is or tall as long as paul williams is as awkward as he is and for all the punches that he throws per round um which he, he should definitely receive credit for that. Um, one of the greatest volume punchers of all times. Um, the number that he averages or average per round uh, escapes me. Um, but he just threw a lot of punches. Okay. But I see Floyd Money Mayweather giving him a boxing lesson down the stretch for a unanimous decision. So those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. And I will see you on the next video.